want to start from the front, you know, and just try and avoid all the back markers and everything. It's just, if you can get some good clean water, you've got it made. The Champion Spark Plug Powerboat Classic is brought to you by Mercury Outboards, the world leaders in marine propulsion since 1939. By PPG Marine Finishes, the world's leading supplier of industrial and marine coatings. And by Champion Spark Plug Company, the world's largest manufacturer of spark plugs. We'll be right back with the driver lineup and the start of the exciting 30-lap SST 140 final. Soda for the Champion Spark Plug Power Boat Classic. The SST 140 boats are preparing for the start. The drivers will be racing this season for their share of an IOGP series purse of over $300,000, which includes a $50,000 PPG points fund. The 15 drivers will be racing in the Champion Spark Plug Power Boat Classic SST 140 Final R. Number 87, Mark Miller. Number 44, Sergio Calvo. Number 57, Mark Trotter. Number 88, Rick Adamchek. Number 14, Dean Halbrooks. Number 20, Homer Green. Number 17, Ken Davis. Number 34, Alan Garbrecht. Number 79, Mike Trotter. Number 38, Bill Joel. Number 46, Paul Nielsen. Number 85, Mike Makus. Number 9, Terry Leatherby. Number 42, Chuck Skelton. And number 16, Robert Linners. We asked several of the drivers what they thought would challenge them the most during the race. Well, my challenge today would be to pass the boats in front of me at the start, uh, mainly Sergio Calvo and Mark Trotta. Uh, they seem like the ones to be, and of course, uh, Mark Miller's running very well. I'm looking for it to be real tight. Uh, it's a hard course to pass on, so we're going to have to get a good start and just uh, hope we're there at the finish. The Millers and Trotters are going to be the are going to be the ones to beat today. It's feel pretty good. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got to come up through the pack and uh, pick off one boat at a time, but uh, I think we've, we've got a pretty good shot. So, uh, Everybody should uh, enjoy it today, I believe. Let's join Walt Yarborough, IOGP's on-site race announcer for the start of the 30-lap main event. 20 seconds, the flag is up. They're under starter's orders. But on the inside, it is number 87, Mark Miller, Castleberry Foods, as he makes the turns down through three and four. He goes wide to the outside. Calvo cutting down on the upside. And they all make it down and through the turn and down the front straightaway. Here comes number 87, Mark Miller. He's at first. 57, Mark Trotter. 44, Sergio Calvo. Number 14, Dean Holbrook. 17, Ken Davis. 88, Rick Adamchek. 79, that is Steve Trotter. And the number 34 is Alan Garbrecht. Number 9, Terry Leatherby. But it's number 87, the man out of Niceville, Florida. Miller Brother Racing. Mercury Power on the back of his Miller-built tunnel. He and his brother, Mark and Kevin Miller, building their own boats, powering them by 142 cubic inch V6 Mercury outboard engines. Miller stays wide to the outside. I'll turn to, oh, look, oh, and look at Trotter, the big orange Arcadian. He got it loose. Coming out of turn number four, very, very loose. He tries to close in on number 87, Mark Miller. Miller, who continues to run, looking at his rear view mirror, strapped into the reinforced cockpit, knowing that the big orange Arcadian is in there behind him. And right behind Arcadian is number 44, Sergio Calvo. That's the boat in development, California Gold Deep. Powerboat racing is a very competitive sport. Winning is the goal of every driver. A unique dimension is added when a driver races against his own brother. Number 79, Mike Trotter, describes his feelings about racing against his brother, Mark. If we both run our own race, uh, if, if we get out in front of each other, if, if Mark gets in front of me, I, uh, he doesn't chop me, he doesn't, turn, he doesn't cut me off. He, we run a clean race. If I get in front of him, and I, I do the same thing for him. 
If anybody's going to win other than myself, of course, I'd, I'd rather see my brother win. Number 57, Mark Trotter, explains the advantages and disadvantages of racing against his brother. It has its pros and cons. It, um, <clears throat> of course, we, when we go out there, we race to win, each one of us. So we don't, um, we don't give each other anything, really. Um, it has its advantages because you know you got somebody back there that's going to kind of watch out for you. But um, we kind of run in as, as a sense like that. It helps out. But uh, when we're out there, we race. We get into a situation where we can pass them like we do. The lead down to 7.36 seconds, so he's lost about a half a second in the last two laps. Nine laps completed, 21 laps left to go is Sergio Calvo. Goes around some of the slower back markers with Ken Davis right in behind him. And it looks like number 57, Mark Trotter, has begun to slow down there on the far side. He has that put Sergio Calvo up into second place, but gives a tremendous lead to Mark Miller. So Calvo goes into second. Ken Davis goes into third. Mike Trotter into fourth. We'll be right back with more SST 140 racing from the Champions Park Plug Powerboat Classic. Champions Plug Powerboat Classic. The action continues here on the Mississippi. Number 87, Mark Miller maintains his lead on lap 16, with number 44, Sergio Calvo in second, and Mike Trotter in third. Mark is a part of the Castleberry's racing team. Castleberry Foods, a longtime supporter of the IOGP series, also sponsors the on-site VIP hospitality tent at each race. A very disappointed Mark Trotter sits on the sidelines out of contention. River courses may vary due to currents, shorelines, winds, and bridges. Drivers have several options to cope with these different situations. Ken Davis explains one of the options. Well, we have our gas tanks, our batteries, our power trim pump. Everything is adjustable. We have aluminum tracks in the boat, and two or three inches can make a lot of difference. And we'll move it forward a little bit if we want the boat to settle down. If we want it to fly a little, we'll move it back. And it just hundreds of little things that we can shuffle around in there to, to make the boat handle differently. Sportsmanship is important in any motorsport competition. Easy Loader will be honoring those drivers who reflect a positive and helpful attitude in racing. Crew members are also honored with the Bell South Mobility Crew Member Award. Another option that drivers have to compensate for the wind and water conditions is trimming. Number 88, Rick Adamchek, explains his trimming techniques. The idea is to try to trim up as much as you can out of the turn to carry the nose of the boat high for acceleration, or bring it down rather quickly as the wind picks up. Otherwise, if you're, if you're on a balancing edge and a gust comes along, you could blow it over backwards. So the idea is to trim up out of the turns and bring it down quickly. Trimming the boat is performed by the driver in the cockpit. This is done hydraulically through the use of trim buttons on the steering wheel as well as on the floor. The buttons on the steering wheel trim the engine in, and the button on the floor trims the engine out, changing the engine's angle in relation to the water. SST-140 competitors utilize the Mercury Marine 200 horsepower powerhead. Although modified for racing, the 2.4 liter engine is also used for pleasure boating, water skiing, and bass fishing. Number nine, Terry Leatherby is running in ninth position. Terry used the opening laps to shake down his borrowed boat and has now picked up the pace in the last half of the race. Number 88, Rick Adamchick is currently running in sixth position. Rick has 17 years of boat racing experience and is also a car racing enthusiast. Your leader, number 87, Mark Miller, has got everything running just very well out here. He's averaging 112.1 miles an hour with a fast lap of 116.3. And the lead has gone back up to 11.24 seconds. So Miller seems to be able to move away from the second place boat at will as Calvo continues to try to move up on him. On 
lap 21, number 14, Dean Holbrooks, was maintaining fifth position, running his mercury-powered Lee Craft on the ragged edge in pursuit of the leader. Water conditions, coupled with the speed of the boat, can sometimes cause the boat to break loose from the water. Roger Bindahl, champion technical services engineer, explains how the spark plug is the window to the combustion chamber. Checking and testing our spark plugs. Uh, that's our window into the combustion chamber to tell us how rich or how lean that engine is running. And we're able to uh, determine not only that, but also if we have to go to a hotter or a colder heat range of spark plug. Number 44, Sergio Calvo, in his mercury-powered Grand Prix hull, continues to hold second place. Sergio comments on his aspirations for the 1989 IOGP championship. I'd like to win the series. Um, I have, you know, great sponsorship, boating development, California Gold, Grand Prix boats, and um, we have a, a, my crew is, consists of family and real good friends, and, and um, you know, they all want to see me do good, and I'd like to do good for them. On lap 24, number 87, Mark Miller, continued to hold a strong lead against second place Sergio Calvo and third place, number 79, Mike Trotter. All races have not been easy for Mark Miller. At the season opener in Augusta, Georgia, Mark capitalized on a good performance to win, but did not fare as well on the rough water in Bay City and finished fifth. Number 34, Alan Garbrecht, running in fourth, is a newcomer to the IOGP series this year and is proving himself to be a tough competitor here in Minneapolis. One driver who is noticeably absent here is Greg Foster. While testing before the race at the Bud Light Bay City River Roar, Foster attempted to make a turn while his boat was airborne. He barrel rolled, destroying his boat beyond repair. boat was in many pieces. Foster was not seriously injured in the accident. Friends and family rallied to support Foster, writing words of encouragement on the remains of his hall. We'll be right back with the exciting conclusion of the Champions Park for Minneapolis for the final laps of the SST 140 30-lap final. Number 87, Mark Miller, continues to lead. His wife, Lisa, explains how she feels when Mark is racing. Most of the time, I think about safety. Uh, Mark had a lot of wrecks last year, and so I have that in my mind. But this year, I'm thinking more and more about being excited that he's going to win. And we're going to get a champion out of this this afternoon. If things continue the way they have been going for the first 26 laps, that champion's name is going to be number 87, Mark Miller, out of Niceville, Florida. He has had one of his smoothest and best rides all year long. Mercury Marine technicians prepare all racing power heads for optimum durability and performance. Some racers alter the factory settings, and reliability is sometimes sacrificed. It, it wasn't too bad. It was rough. The boat was running pretty good. It, uh, while it lasted, uh, we, we ended up sticking a piston in it. I think that's what happened. And we richened it up right on the, on the start dock. We, we had a little leaner than what we had it, and we ran the hot lap and didn't really feel comfortable with that, so we went back to our original setup from this morning. It was too lean. It wasn't getting enough fuel to it, and uh, when it doesn't get enough fuel, it builds up the heat in it, and that's what causes it to stick to piston. As the green flag remains out, 87, our leader comes by. Mark Miller, 28 laps completed, only two laps left to go. Now's the time when he listens. Are there any funny, strange engine noises? Is everything performing well? He knows he's out front. He's on the radio to his brother, Kevin Miller. He knows he's amassing points towards the 1989 World Championship. He knows he's after the lion's share of that $40,000 prize money. That chair that's allotted to the SST 140 class, Mark Miller wants to claim his lion's share of it. Comes out 
top for our leader, number 87, Mark Miller. He's got 1.35 miles left to go. Very little time left for the man from Niceville, Florida. His sponsors, Castleberry Food. I know they're over on the VIP side. Root, come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Bring it home. Less than a half a lap left to go as this young man goes underneath. Going up river, goes underneath the Broadway Bridge for his second to last final time this afternoon. He takes it through turns three and four. Goes around Ken Davis, still moving slowly. He brings down turn number four, right up close to the back, and let's bring him home with a big round of applause. Your Aquatennial champion, Brooklyn's Power Classic, SST 130 winner from Niceville, Florida, number 87, Mark Miller, Castleberry Foods. Finishing second, number 41 4, Sergio Galvo, who had cut the lead of Miller to 4.39 seconds. Finishing third is number 79, Mike Trotter. Final results for the Champion Spark Plug Powerboat Classic SST 140 Final R. Number 87, Mark Miller. Number 44, Sergio Calvo. Number 79, Mike Trotter. Number 34, Alan Garbrecht. Number 14, Dean Hallbrooks. Number 88, Rick Adamchek. Number 20, Homer Green. Number 38, Bill Joel. Number 9, Terry Leatherby. Number 46, Paul Nielsen. Number 85, Mike Makis. Number 17, Ken Davis. And number 42, Chuck Skelton. While Mark Miller picks up the checkered flag, Terry Leatherby expresses his feelings about the race. It's pretty nice. It wasn't bad. First time I finished all year, so it was great. The top three finishers comment about their performances in the race. I did what I wanted to do. I expect, I really hope to come in, you know, first or second, a little closer, but I'm not, I'm not dissatisfied with third. I started, you know, on the end of the dock, uh, ninth or tenth, and I had a lot of work and, you know, a lot of room to, or ground to make up, and I just took my time and I did it, and it's, it's working out. It's looking like maybe that's where I need to start all my races from the back of the pack. I need to end up in the top three when I do, but uh, we'll see you next time. Well, it's a big improvement from the start of the season finishing second and you know all we're doing is trying to work our way up and we'll be competitive with um, Miller and, and Trotter that's what you know our goal is to be is to beat them I feel great it was a good good race and I'm proud to have won